Welcome back my fourth grade friends. Today we are going to do another uh, video lesson for my virtual learners and this one is going to be about line also. So let's write the word line at the top of our paper. Before we get started over here on the right, I need your first and last name. I'm going to write my name. My name is Ms. Bowen. I need you to write yours. I need you to put an A-T if you're Austin Tracy student. I need you to put a T-H if you're a Temple Hill student. And underneath that, you will need to put a four. That way I can identify you. Today, what we're learning about is line. That's our learning intention for today. And in order for you to be successful, we're gonna talk about some different lines. You may be like Miss Bowen, we just did this when we drew our cityscape, when we drew our city buildings. Well, if you do it twice, you say it, you write it, and you draw it, chances are you're gonna remember it. And this will also help you in your math classes, so it's really important we get this down. So when we draw a line this way, you can copy the little pink line that's on your paper. That is called a vertical line. I need you to write that down, vertical. Okay, it runs north to south, top to bottom, vertical. Remember, if at any time I'm going too fast, pause the video. The next kind of line goes left to right like that. And you can just copy the little blue line on your paper and make it nice and straight. And that is a horizontal line. Okay. Then we've got our diagonal lines. We talked about those the other day when we drew our cityscape. We made the, the pitch of the roof on the, the buildings. We made it like a pyramid on the top. We've also got these lines that cross over each other. Do you remember what those are called? Intersecting. Intersecting lines. Do you remember what the lines are that uh, form square edges like that? Here we'd have two of them right there and right there. Those are called perpendicular. They're also known as 90 degree angles and they're also called right angles. All right, and then the last set of line we're gonna talk about are two like this, like an equal sign. Those are called parallel lines. They're two lines that will go on forever, but they will never cross and intersect like these do. They're always gonna be the same distance apart. We call those parallel. So draw your line across your paper. This is our learning intention. We're learning about line. In order to be successful, we have to draw a vertical line, a horizontal line, a diagonal line, an intersecting line, a perpendicular line, and a parallel line. That's what we do in order to be successful today when we draw our picture. Now, last time we did a city, today we're gonna do more of a, just something more simple. We're going to start by drawing a container. So let's do a horizontal line. Let's do some diagonal lines. Let's go through one, two, three, let's go through four lines. Remember we have the spaces, you have your lined paper there. Let's go through four of them diagonally. Let's go through four more diagonally on the other side. And let's join them with another horizontal line. Okay. Now let's take this one space here and let's do one more horizontal to make a lip on this container. Now, let's do a vertical line down through the middle, like that. And then let's do two more diagonal lines. Let's do one here and one here. Now let's evaluate what we've drawn so far. Did we draw any vertical lines? 
Yes, we have one right down through the middle. Do we have any horizontal lines? One, two, three. We've drawn three horizontal lines. Let's check that off. Have we drawn any diagonal lines? Yes, we have the two for the sides here of the container. So that's two, three, and four. So we can check off diagonal. Do we have any perpendicular lines? Is there anywhere where a vertical meets a horizontal and makes a 90 degree angle? Yes, right here in the middle. So we have a 90 degree on this side and a 90 degree on this side. Do you see how that's a squared edge here and a squared edge on this side? It's like the corner of a square would fit in there. That's perpendicular. Do we have anything that's parallel? Two lines that would go on forever and never cross. Well, that would be these two right here. They're the same distance all the way across. We could say the top one and this bottom one, they'll never cross. We could say this top one and this one, right, or this second one here and this last one, they're never going to cross. So if we extended the line out this way, they would never cross. So yes, parallel. So that's left us with intersecting. We don't have anything here that is intersecting. How are we going to make that happen? Hmm. Let's get back to that in just a minute. Let's draw some circles on the end of this. Okay? And let's take care of our intersecting inside of those. Let's put an X in this one for the center of our flower. We're going to draw some flowers in a pot. Let's do the same thing over here and the same thing over here. So the center of our flowers are where we have our intersecting lines. We've already been successful. We've completed everything that was in our success criteria inside of our art. But this is not very pretty. It needs some work. So let's change these into some flowers by using some curvy lines here. We'll just do some basic petals just by drawing some half circles. Let's do the same thing over here. Okay, and let's finish the third one up. Remember, if I'm going too fast, what do you do? Pause the video. All right, we've got some flowers. We need some leaves. Let's put some leaves on here like this. We'll give two on that one. Let's make this, we'll just have one. And to be consistent, let's do two on this one. All right, not bad. Decent looking flowers, but let's kick it up a notch. Let's put something in each of these petals that go along with these lines, okay? So let's put vertical lines in all of these. Let me show you what I mean. Vertical, vertical, vertical. We're gonna make some striped flowers here. There we go, we got a vertical flower. Let's go to this one. Let's make this one full of diagonal lines. What do you say? That means they've got to be sideways. All right, so those are diagonal flowers. Let's make this one perpendicular flowers. What do you say? Let's make these L's and these T's all over this one. That's a crazy looking flower, but it gets the point across that you understand what perpendicular lines are. So we've got vertical, we've got diagonal, we've got perpendicular. Let's fill in the top of this with another horizontal line, and we'll just make the top of our vase be a horizontal demonstration. So what's that leave us with? We could do... 
We've already done intersecting in the middle of our flowers. I tell you what, do you remember when you were younger and I just had you do straight, curvy, zigzag, or broken lines? Do you remember that? Let's just do some curvy lines in here. When you were little, we called them slippery snakes. Okay, let's just do those all over it. Just to show that we understand there's all kinds of lines. All right, there we go. We have successfully demonstrated that we understand vertical lines, horizontal lines, diagonal lines, intersecting lines, perpendicular lines, and parallel lines. Now, your assignment to turn over on the back. Draw me another pot of flowers. You only have to have three in there. And inside the petals, put the different kinds of lines. You can mix yours up. They don't have to look exactly like mine. I can't wait to see them. Take a picture of the front and back and email them to me at my email address that's here on Google Classroom. Or we have drop boxes now at all the schools. So you can simply take your paper when you're done with it and drop it off. If you have crayons or coloring pencils and you want to color your flowers, fantastic. But it is not a requirement for your grade because not everybody may have um, the supplies that they need at home. So, I hope you enjoyed your line flowers. I'll see you next time.